minutes late due to our uh, original schedule. Uh, can uh, we can start now? Today we are going to launch the new course. New course uh, title IP version four, IP version six, IP addressing related uh, course. Uh, Good honorable instructor is Professor Dr. Samsit Jaman Shavu, sir. Uh, actually, uh, in the last course, uh, all of the participants are uh, familiar with our honorable instructor. Uh, so I think uh, all of the participants are going to enjoy the new interesting course, IP version 4 and IP version 6. Uh, best of luck. Uh, now, uh, the control is transferred to the honorable instructor. Professor Samsung Jamal Shavu, sir. Sir. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon, and thank you all of you who have already joined uh, today's webinar course. Uh, thank you, Chinmay Vepari, the project leader of this course, and Mahabubur Rahman, Faisal, and all other, uh, Urpita Haladar, and other panel members. Uh, good afternoon, all of the participants and all of the uh, uh, attendees. Uh, so uh, today, course three, uh, basically IP version four and IP version six, basic objective of, of this course uh, to discuss about the uh, logical address. So before, uh, this is uh, Professor Dr. Samsu Jaman, uh, Department of Computer Communication Engineering from Portakali Science and Technology University. Uh, so this is uh, today, uh, today and tomorrow course content. Uh, basically, I want to discuss uh, just some brief about the previous class. Uh, then background of the uh, about uh, addressing, different kinds of addressing are using in uh, uh, TCP IP or OSI layer uh, for networking. So we want to see what type of uh, addressing are using. Then IP address and logical address, uh, IP addressing or logical addressing types of address. Then details, uh, then IP version 4, ad, 4 address. Uh, in IP version 4, we, we, uh, we will know about the address space. IP address notation, logical operation of different kinds of IP address. Then we will see the types of IP version 4 address, class full and classless address. Uh, in class full address, uh, we will see the details. Then uh, we will say, uh, learn about the classless address and uh, uh, the class which, which have already used, uh, IP address which have already used in our uh, campus network. So we will uh, explain one by one. Uh, then we'll discuss some special address. After that, IP version 6 address, their issue, their address implementation, and IP version 6 types. And finally, the question answer. Okay. So uh, basically, last class, uh, I think uh, course one, uh, Mahabur Ravan already discussed about the uh, different kinds of networking device uh, we are now we, we are uh, using in the, the computer networking. And second course, uh, we have uh, Urpita Haladar and me discuss about the campus network, theoretical concept Urpita Haladar part, and also the hardware and packet tracer uh, campus network uh, topology. Then I show the, I, I have show already discussed about the uh, uh, campus network I, uh, can design. Uh, how can you, uh, how can we design the campus network, overall campus network for the different kinds of IP address? Uh, in packet tracer, we have uh, already know about the how to configure, how to connect the different kinds of address, uh, different kinds of uh, different kinds of uh, computer networking devices. How can you how how can we configure the devices and uh, how can uh, from command line interface how can you con configure the router, switch, mm -hmm. uh, desktop PC, server, etc. So, but uh, one issue is the major issue is that uh, we have used different kinds of IP address. That means internet protocol address. But what do you mean by IP address? And what are the subnet mask, default gateway, net, uh, network address? And uh, what are the uh, host, net, net ID? So we need to know this. And uh, after uh, getting all the information from this addressing, that means IP address, uh, I think uh, if we can uh, finish this uh, day one and day two course, then, then you can uh, I think I just show you some basic concept, then you need to study to uh, skilled in this area. So, so if I go to, I start from uh, just beginning that OSI layer, we have already know the seven OSI layer 
and TCP layer, five, five, five layer. Uh, so different kinds of layer have different kinds of function, but our target is a lo logical addressing or IP addressing. So in basically logical addressing and IP addressing are responsible for computer network layer. Basically computer network layer provides the connectivity between the end host. That means uh, uh, our laptop or uh, desktop we are, are as a client and on different networks outside of the land. That means it's responsible for network layer. Also network layer is responsible for provide the logical addressing, I mean IP address and provides path selection between source and destination, which is routing, routing and different kinds of uh, switching. And routers operate at uh, layer three, basically network layer. And basic function of this uh, uh, router is related to network layer. So we will uh, we'll, uh, uh, see, uh, we'll uh, study the details in uh, network routing and switching course that is related to router. So our basic target, main target uh, today and tomorrow is to know about the logical addressing or IP addressing. Okay, so before going to logical addressing or IP addressing, uh, 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 four levels of address are used in uh, computer network in TCP IP protocols, uh, basically physical address, uh, logical address, port address, and application specific address. So basically uh, four types of address we are using uh, basically in uh, a, a TCP IP protocol layer among, uh, and S address is related to one layer in the TCP IP structure as shown in this figure. Uh, basically, message segment, datagram, frame, and bits. This is the uh, uh, specific uh, uh, packet, I think, uh, uh, specific packet in different kinds of layer, uh, physical uh, application layer, transport layer, network layer, and data link layer. But all this and uh, physical layer, lastly, physical layer. But this above four layer has different kinds of address we are using. Uh, basically, the physical address, that means the MAC address, media access control, or the network interface card address. So physical address, that means uh, this is uh, a, a hexadecimal notation. It, uh, it's uh, uh, six byte, that means 48 bit address. Uh, is, uh, every uh, network interface card or interface card has a specific MAC address. And on the other hand, that uh, 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 logical address, basically the network layer address, this is a four, uh, four byte or this is a dotted decimal notation, this type of address basically logical addressing. And logical addresses used, uh, are used by networking software to allow packets to be independent of the physical connection of the network. And that is to work with different network topology and types of media. And third, uh, port address, that means uh, uh, different kinds of port address we are also used in our TCP IP protocol. Uh, basically, there are many applications running on the computer. S yes, application run with a port number on the computer. Basically, port number is a part of addressing information used to identify the sender and receiver message. Like HTTP protocol, we are using uh, 80 port. And application specific address, uh, basically the uh, application layer port, uh, layer address, uh, basically take the let cc dot this is this is basically called the uh, application specific address. So our main target basically is the logical addressing or IP addressing or this type of decimal not, uh, decimal notation. We need to know about the details uh, what are the tasks how can you uh, how can you uh, do the network planning how many uh, hosts we can connect so this type of all information we can uh, we will know about uh, the next uh, lecture uh, next uh, sorry distance. sir for okay. interruption so uh, students are asked for uh, going a little bit slower please okay, uh, uh, could uh, you okay. A little bit so please? now i am directly going to the IP address or logical address. Okay. IP address or the logical address. Basically, at the network layer, uh, we, we know about the network layer is related to IP address. So at the network layer, we need to uniquely identify is device on the internet to allow global communication between all devices. This is uh, the main object, main task. Uh, if we want to connect or any devices to internet. Okay, so so in that case, every devices need a ID or identifier. So basically the identifier used in the IP layer or internet protocol layer of the TCP IP protocol suite to identify S device connected to the internet is called the internet address or IP address. So basically uh, this way we can define the IP address. That is 
identifier used in the IP layer of the TCP IP protocol suite to identify a device connected to the internet is called the basically the internet address or IP address or internet protocol address. Okay. So, uh, an IP address is the address of the basically the IP address is the address of the interface or network interface card. So, since this is a sample of a IP address 192.168.1.254, we have already uh, know about the how to configure, how to write this IP address in a specific computer or specific uh, networking devices. Sorry. So if you go to the packet tracer, and lastly, uh, we have configured Okay, so IP address and logically that's the, it's the definition. It's a sample of IP address 192.168.1.254. So this is this dotted decimal notation. And every, uh, this is called four octet because uh, one octet is uh, eight bit, first octet, second octet, third octet, and fourth octet. octet. Uh, this is the bi binary notation. So I think you have already familiar with the binary to decimal, decimal to binary, this type of, uh, uh, Yes, uh, basically network uh, network interface card uh, card address and call the MAC media access control uh, media access MAC address. Yes, this is uh, written in IP address here. No, no, no. Uh, why is it written as IP address? No, this is not IP address. Basically, network interface card address or MAC address is same thing. I think you can uh, explore it. Okay, so this is the best sim uh, sample of a IP address. Uh, here we, uh, I have shown a uh, dotted decimal notation. This is binary notation. Okay, so this is the, this is the just a, a basic sample here. Um, okay, so this uh, just definition of IP address. Now, so in uh, types of IP address or logical addressing, basically uh internet connected network use two types of ip address one is uh, ip version 4 internet protocol version 4 and the latest one is ip version 6 uh internet protocol version 6 so this is the this is the, here i have add, uh, added a sample this is the uh, sample ip version 4 address and this is the ip version 6 address ip version 4 is uh, basically 32 bit on the other hand ip version 6 is uh, 128 bit ip version 6 address we will discuss it's uh, uh, tomorrow IP version six address representation this way. You, we need to present. Uh, we need to show. The, uh, we need to present the IP address, uh, IP version four through the hexadecimal notation. So now we uh, we want to know the details about the IP version four address. Okay. Basically, IP version four address is a thirty-two bit address that uniquely and universally defines the connection of a host or a computer or a router to the internet okay ip version 4 basically 32 bit address and ip version 4 address consists of four bytes or 32 bits and those bytes are also known as basically octic and ip version 4 one uh, issue uh, i have uh, uh, here write that uniquely and universally what do you mean by uniquely and universally basically unique in the sense that S address defines one and only one connection to the internet. S address basically unique means in that sense that S address is connected only one and only uh, S address defines one and only one connection to the internet. This is the main thing for uniquely. And two devices on the internet can never have the same address at the same time. Okay, but global address. Uh, we uh, we will know about the global address and private address. So in that sense, that just I uh, I just talk about the global address. So but however, if a device has two connection to the internet via two networks, it has two IP version four address because the IP version four address are uni uh, it has two IP version four address. So basically, uh, one is de uh, defined from another. 
in that sense the ip version 4 is called uh, also called the universally defined universally means that means ip version 4 are one kind of address uh, that addressing system must be accepted by any host in the world that wants to be connected to the internet so any kind of computer networking device or any kind of network accessing device have ip address uh, has uniquely accepted the ip version format that is 32 bit format so we need to confirm it uh, that's why ip version 4 address are called the universal so one issue is that ip version 4 is unique another issue is called ip version 4 is universal okay so two it's a video and ip version 4 address is basically 32 bits long and a sec uh, four octet like this one we need to so if we when we want to write the ip version 4 that we need four octet and if we want to write the ip version 4 in uh, decimal notation then we need to add the dot in, in uh, uh, se to separate the octet so uh, next issue is related to IP version 4 address space. What do you mean by address space? Basically, uh, a protocol like IP version 4 that defines address has an address space. Basically, an address space is the total number of address used by the protocol. Total number of address used by the protocol. But if a protocol used B bits to define an address, suppose a protocol is used B bits to define an address the address is space is 2 to the power b that means because s bit can have two different values because two different values because binary notation we are using so the, uh, there are two symbol 0 and 1 so ip version 4 32 bit address which means the address space is 2 to the power 32 or near uh, more than 4 billion so we can connect more than 4 billion uh, devices to uh, to uh, to the internet by using this IP version four addresses. So how can you? I uh, uh, what are the address range? Uh, where the address range four octet zero point zero 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 point zero point zero zero two five five two five five two five five two five five. This is the address range here. This range to this range uh, uh, about more than four billion address we can generate uh, by using this thirty two bit. So what what are the uh, combination this is the first combination and this is the last combination here middle of the uh, combination uh, other combination we can make a defined uh, in defined cells so total of 32 bits that means 2 power 32 near about 4 billion address space in ip version 4 that means we can connect more than 4 billion ad 4 billion devices to the internet in the current version of ip version 4 but uh, another issue that this is the just global IP for uh, for for the global IP we can connect uh, more than four billion. But since PSQ has a network, different kinds of network like Protocol Science and Technology University has different kinds of network. So uh, so in internal network we have uh, different kinds of address uh, we can use in private address. So if any user connect to internet uh through the ps2 network so all user is going uh, all user send their request by using one IP. that is called real IP. so let's go to my home internet so uh we need to what is my ip if i write here so you can see the, that this is two two zero three one one two 21032 this is my basically internet ip so if when i am accessing this uh, internet from my laptop my ip is basically 2031122138 but if i go to my uh, command prompt and ip config all then you can see the all ip configuration that means uh, you can see the this is my Wi-Fi devices. This is the physical address or MAC address or network interface card. So this is a six byte, and you can see also link local IP version four uh, sub uh, IP version four. This is my local IP. 
192.168.20.104. This is my local uh, uh, local IP. That means my laptop IP. Uh, this is my subnet mask. But when I uh, when I uh, search in Google, what is my IP? In that case, the uh, Google shows that my IP is another one, which is a global IP. Okay. So is it clear or not? What are the difference between the local IP and global IP? And wh wh why are talking about the more than 4 billion address? That means global IP can, can be connected. Okay. And local IP, uh, in that case, you need to use the network address translator and uh, others configuration. Then local area, you can configure. But main IP is the real IP or global IP. So is it clear? I think it's, uh, is it clear now? Okay. Okay. So now this is uh, uh, this is about the address space. Now I am going to the notation. So uh, if you write a uh, address, uh, I think uh, IP address. There are three kinds of. Uh, uh, common notation to show an IP 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 version four. This is the binary notation base two. This is the dot and decimal notation base two five six, and this is the hexadecimal notation. Uh, this this is the hexadecimal notation. But most most of the case we are using the dotted decimal notation. In that case, this is the binary value. And this is the dotted decimal notation. And since we have configured the campus network network, in that case we are using different kinds of four uh, four octet. Uh, dotted decimal notation we are using uh, our campus network so this four notation basically using in uh, 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 show the uh, ip version 4 in various uh, notation so the, the binary notation dotted decimal notation hexadecimal notation i am not explaining in more details because i think you have already familiar with the binary to decimal decimal to binary or others uh, conversion and notation uh, basically binary notation ip version address is dip, uh, displayed in 32 bits it's a simple to make that it uh, address more readable one or more spaces is usually inserted be between the uh, s octet s octet is often referred to as a byte so it is Common to have an IP from four address referred to as a 32 bit address, four octet address, or four byte address in binary notation. Uh, this is the basic example of a uh, IP version four, the binary notation. Uh, this is the uh, dotted uh, decimal notation, where base is 256. Uh, this is uh, if uh, since we are uh, mostly familiar with the dotted decimal notation uh, or decimal notation, so to make the IP, IP version four address more compact and easier to read. And IP version 4 address is usually written in dotted decimal notation or uh, separating the bytes. This format is referred to the basically the dotted decimal notation. And the, uh, you can see this uh, binary format and uh, converting this uh, binary to directly the dotted decimal notation. Uh, when we uh, configure the IP address in our uh, packet tracer or our, our the laptop or desktop, we are just using this dotted decimal notation. And exam notation, notation, we are basically base 16. Uh, we will see these uh, details in for IP version 6 because IP version 4, uh, 6 uh, mostly uh, IP version 4 is represented by the hexadecimal notation. So we will see the details in uh, IP version 6. Uh, address notation, this is the address notation, uh, dot, dotted decimal. Uh, this is the bi binary. So so binary to decimal, how can you convert it? Or at a time we can convert it. So I think you have already familiar with this. This is the eight bit and every uh, symbol of zero, zero, this position has positional value. I think you have already familiar with the uh, decimal number one, zero, three, 100, uh, zero, three. That means 103. That means uh, three has a uh, positional value zero, zero has a positional value 10 and one has position value 100. In that case, we can call it one, zero, 1003. Similarly, in binary uh, system, uh, when we want to convert the binary to decimal, in that case, every position, that means if the, uh, this position, not positional value 1, uh, second 0, positional value uh, 2, 
this one position value 4, this one 8, this one 16, 32, 64, and 120. Basically, you can uh, see a sequence 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, and 120. So this eight number you should remember. Okay. So if you can remember the every, every positional value, then, then you can easily convert it. So, uh, so in that, uh, you can see it. And also the this positional value, the, uh, that means if all positional value, uh, uh, sorry, all bit is zero, then the decimal uh, value is zero. If all uh, bit is one, then if we uh, sum it 128.64.32, uh, it, uh, it is total total sum would be 255. So in that in this way, we can convert it from binary to dotted, dotted uh, binary to decimal. Okay. I think, uh, do you understand or not? If you have any question, you can uh, uh, write the question answer box. I'm uh, actually, I'm not understanding uh, because uh, all are mute. That's why uh, no interaction between you and me. So if uh, any interaction, then it, uh, I think it's better for me to understand, you, do you understand or not? So this is the binary notation, binary to decimal. So we need to, Re, uh, remember it that means every positional value okay now see another one if we, if the ip address is one number is two to one suppose okay so one number is two to one so how can you convert it uh, the binary notation so you can see two to one that means this position value should be one this positional value should be one that means 128 uh, plus 64 then one eight one, three one, that means uh, 16 plus eight plus four in this way. And uh, so in, in that case, I think total should be two to one. So you need to check it. Every positional value, you need to check it. Uh, the how, which positional value, if we add, then how, the, uh, how much the total sum, uh, total. So in this way, we can simply convert it. And Another way you can convert it by using the binary to decimal, by using the different kinds of mathematics. You have already studied in uh, intermediate or uh, intermediate level. I think you have already studied or uh, in uh, honors level, I think you can uh, study it, already studied, uh, study it, I think. So uh, this is the simple way how to convert from, from binary to decimal or decimal to binary, because we need to know this uh, bit position which one is a network ID and which one is host ID. In that case, we need to know the uh, binary, by, uh, this, uh, binary conversion. So we will see it later. So this is another conversion from binary to base, uh, bin uh, from the binary to uh, decimal conversion. So two, uh, this, uh, this is the bit basically, 254. This is the left seven bit, all are one, just one, uh, just zero is uh, off. So, uh, so if all bit is one, when all bit is one, then we, we are total sum is uh, 255. If uh, one bit is just off last bit, this positional value is one. So we can just minus it, 255 minus one. So in this way, we need to remember it. Okay, so uh, 248, basically 248 is essential for uh, uh, slash notation. We, uh, uh, we need it. So this is another one, binary to decimal. This is another one. Uh, binary to decimal position. Uh, so uh, 118, how to convert it. Uh, and uh, also, uh, this is another one, 143. How can you convert our binary to decimal? Just positional value we need to add, the just uh, ma maximum positional value, 128, then uh, others uh, positional value we need to add. And in that case, which position value we take, just uh, need to the one, other position value would be zero. So address notation, this is another kind of address notation. So if you want to binary to decimal, then we need to separate the uh, eight bit and then a space, eight bit, then a space, then we need to we just uh, remember the positional value and we need to convert it uh, 192.168.1.254 slash 24. We know about the details about the slash notation. We have uh, more details in class classless uh, addressing. So basically this portion is called network ID and this portion is called host ID. So this is the uh, 192.168.1.254 slash 24. This is the end notation, that means network ID. So this portion is called network ID and this is called the host ID. We will know the, the details in next section. 
So let's uh, uh, see a quiz or uh, what we have learned. So can you say, can you uh, do the conversion in your uh, uh, any take uh, any kata or any any issue? Then we can uh, see the solution. Uh, is it uh, correct or not? Change the flowing IP address, IP version four address from binary notation to dotted decimal notation. Can you change it? A B C D. Just two minutes. So can you change it? Uh, their participants Sorry, were to the open the is total public IP, but some of uh, some of the address uh, already uh, uh, total IP address, but some of the address will keep for a special address. We will uh, see uh, some uh, uh, section, uh, some uh, specific uh, block for a specific application. Others uh, address will be used for public IP. So I think you have already converted it. So this is the, so uh, I think we can easily convert it. So eight number position is one, that means 128 plus one, that means 129. Okay, this is one zero, that means one two, uh, four eight, that means one plus two plus eight, that means eight, 10, 11. Okay, let's go to the solution. So 129, is it, uh, do you understand 129 this is 11 and also 1011 this is also 11 and this is 239 just you can uh, subtract it total all eight means 25 uh, uh, 255 then you can just subtract the zero positional value zero position value means 1 2 4 8 16 so 255 minus 16 then you can easily convert it 129.11.11.239. I think I think you have under. Do you understand or not? I am not clear. So in this way you can convert it. Okay. So if you can, can answer in Sir, on the chat box, option, the, our uh, participant uh, responses, do you the or maximum or? are uh, okay, able yes, to convert them and yes, uh, complete you. And the next, dot, uh, In this way, you can convert it. Okay, IP version 4. Next, uh, I am going to the IP version from decimal to binary. Can you convert it and uh, answer it in uh, chat option? Uh, just answer the chat, chat option. Can you convert it and write A, B, C, D answer? I think uh, 78, it's easily to convert, 78. I think 64, the 64 you can get, you, you can take, 64 positional one, and also the uh, 78 means uh, the 64, that means that, uh, a, uh, a, uh, eight can take, four can take. So in that way you, you can take. I think Rahman can un uh, already answer. So let's go to the answer part. Okay, can you mess with your answer? Basically, 120 A, 128, 0, 1, 1, 0, 5, 1. Okay, thank you, Arif. Already done. And uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, uh, 0, 0, 1, 1. I think, uh, okay, 0, 0. Yes, uh, I think Rahman also correct this one. Okay, because I have already given this one in your evaluation part. I think this type of uh, answer you need to write. Okay, I think all of you understand the binary to decimal, decimal to binary because you are already familiar uh, uh, in uh, your under, uh, un undergraduate and also the uh, intermediate course. Okay, let's um, go to next slide. This is okay. Now another uh, another quiz. Uh, since I have uh, already discussed that IP version four is thirty-two bit address, so can you find the error? 
A, B, C, D, what type of error? What type of error in this uh, IP address? So when you are, uh, when you want to configure your IP in uh, basically the, uh, in a packet tracer, in a desktop or any server or router, then this type of IP, IP address you can write or not. D is not IP address, yes. C also has a problem. B also has a problem. A also has a problem. Zero four five is not correct. Yes, uh, Muhammad Kamal Hussain. Zero four five is not correct. Basically, zero has a meaning. So every octet, uh, every dotted decimal between uh, two dot has eight bit. So if you uh, zero has a meaning. That's why here, uh, if you convert the forty five to uh, eight bit, the, after that additional zero. So nine bit. That's the problem. Okay, B number is five five bit. Sorry, five octet. That's the issue. C number three zero one. That uh, we have. I have already uh, showed that the maximum range of eight bit zero to two fifty five. But here C number as uh, third octet three zero one. So this is incorrect. And also this is the binary to and dotted decimal. This is incorrect. So I think okay. Uh, Okay, so I think we have understood the formatting of IP version four, and we know the binary to decimal and decimal to binary. I think you have uh, already know the know the conversion, and some of you already familiar. I think you can practice when I will uh, uh, when the panel member will send you the uh, slide. You can practice it. Okay, so this is the IP version, just basic format. This is the answer of this uh, above uh, question. So now I ne we need to know the some logical operation to see the IP version four. Be uh, three times of logical operation we need to uh, uh, we need to study. We need to know basically B twice not operation. We know about the not operation or complement basically thirty two bits. Uh, not operation output thirty two bits. Uh, not operation if zero input then output one one input output zero. So. Uh, so, so how can you convert this original number? This is uh, the original IP address. We can complement complement it that zero to one. So how can you come? This is just easy to that zero position replaced by one. But how can you convert this uh, decimal notation? So original number is seventeen, and then complement. How how can we complement it? Basically, for complement of this dotted decimal notation, you need to subtract it. From two five five to the original number. This is the the this is basically the uh, uh, complement. So from two five five, if we uh, subtract seventeen, we will get the two three eight. Then one twenty one, one three five, fourteen with two forty one, thirty five two two zero. Do you understand or not? This is basically the uh, uh, this is basically the complement. Okay. Next, not operation we need. We also need the bit wise and operation okay uh, we also need the basically the uh, bitwise and operation so if input is one out uh, and input another input is input uh, 32 bits 32 bits then we will get the end operation and and output will be 32 bits uh, and will be executed only when one and one both will be one then output will be one that means both will if both is true then output will be true otherwise all uh, all uh, false. So first number, this is second number. So we can just uh, 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 ending operation, just we will get this position one. So, but this is the decimal uh, binary notation, it's easy. But for decimal notation, the main issue is that we need this one basically for routing uh, when a PC send a packet from uh, the, as a source to its destination, uh, when a packet sent from one host to router, then router how to find the network address. 
in that case router use basically the a algorithm to find out the network ad networking address in that case uh, router need a and uh, need to perform the ending operation so if the ip address is one ip address is host ip address is 17.121.14.35 then second number is basically subnet mask we will know about it 255.255.1400 so result will be basically uh, the three rules we need to maintain three rules we need to maintain first rules uh, is uh, um, sorry two rules we need to maintain so for first doctic second doctic and third doctic basically if we get any number 255 and other number is an, another number then we will take the for the ending operation we will take the small number so 255 and 17 which is small 17 is small so we will take it we can easily convert it uh, to binary then we can uh, uh, and, and ending it like this one but it's time consuming but if we want to convert from dot uh, 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 ending operation by using uh, by using the dotted decimal notation then 255 and 17 if we ending operation then we will take the small number so in that case we will take the 17 this is also the one number is 255 so we can easily take 121 and for this one 35 and 0 since 255 or, or 0 so we can easily get the small number 0 but issue is that the third object one is 14 another is 140 in that case we need to convert this 14 to powers that means byte 14 that means third third byte 14 means 0 0 0 0 0 8 4 2 0 so we need to remember it i i, I all the already 14 means 8 4 2 8 4 8 plus 4 12 plus 2 14 and for 140 128 plus 8 plus 4 so we need to convert it and then we need to ending operation so 0 120 0 in this way 8 and 4 will be the common in that case result will be 17.128.121.12.0 so this will be the basically the networking address okay we will know the details about the network network address of a uh, from a ip address and subnet mask but we need to know this ending operation i think is it clear or not so basic rules is that you need to take from 0 or 255 we need to take the small number okay 0 or 255 if uh, when at least one of the number is 0 or 255 the and operation selects the smaller byte or one of them if equal smaller byte we need to take it smaller byte when none of the two byte is either 0 or 255 we can write s byte as the sum of eight terms basically we need to write this way where s term is power of 2 and s power is s term is power of 2 2 to the power 0 2 to the power 1 2 to the power 2 in this way uh, this position and we then select the smaller term in s pair we need to select the smaller term in s pair that means 8844 that means the ending operation we are 88 same so 844 so 8 plus 4 equal to 12 so in this way we can convert uh, uh, we can perform the and operation i think is it clear or not i am not sure okay so this uh, this will be need our for routing operation and also for uh, find out the network address of a network so we need this one so another one is this that so bitwise or operation so this also need the last address of the ip address okay we need to uh, uh, we need to find out the last address of the ip address so in that case first number this one so first number this one and second number this one so the, uh, for in this case for our operation for 255 or 0 we need we need uh, basically uh, we need to take the larger number previous one and operation we we have taken the smaller number but in this in this case we need to take the large number that means 17 and 255 which was larger 255 255 121 which is larger 255 and 35 0 which is larger 35 but 14 and 140 we need to uh, shortcut method we need to use the shortcut method uh, basically we need to convert it uh, uh, through the uh, we need to convert this way and we need to take 
all byte that means for or operation that means we we have already known the all of our or operation 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 sorry 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 will be 1 in that case 128 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 what will be the sum i think the 148 do you understand or not i am not sure the just op opposite tools of and, and operation so we need to take it large number and also we need to sum the all numbers here we have got all all numbers that means 128 uh, 8 4 and 2 we can uh, sum it then we will uh, got the third octet result so in this way we can uh, perform the or operation so these three operation we need uh, for very uh, for to uh, explore the uh, IP version 4 address in uh, for find out the network address, find out the uh, subnet mask or other issue. So this is the basically the uh, uh, basic of uh, some background of IP version 4 and different kinds of uh, operation we uh, we have just discussed. Okay, now let's go to the uh, IP version 4 directly. So we know about the background of IP version 4 and different kinds of issue we have already studied, and now. Uh, types of IP version 4. Basically, uh, initially, uh, IP address when it started a uh, few days ago, use the concept of classes. Okay. Uh, this architecture, classes architecture is basically called class pool architecture. When starting the IP addressing, so in that case, the IP, uh, IP address uh, follow a structure uh, like uh, and the concept of using the different kinds of classification. They, they have uh, 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 classify the IP address in defined way in defined uh, 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 background. So this concept is basically called the uh, class pool addressing. But in the mid 99, when new architecture called the classless architecture was introduced, that supersedes the original architecture. We will uh, study the classless architecture is uh, later because uh, and because uh, all of the class pool uh, addressing most of the uh, feature will. Uh, used in classless architecture, but some more advanced feature is uh, used basically in classless arch arch uh, addressing because classful addressing has some uh, issue for dep depletion and uh, for blocking, uh, for wasting some address, this type of issue, uh, which has ob uh, overcome by classless addressing. But, but, uh, but uh, after uh, uh, various uh, uh, devices, uh, is uh, connecting day by day and so in that case ip version 6 has introduced so we will study it later so now let's go to the uh, class pool ar ar uh, addressing so in class pool addressing basically the ip address IP, ip version 4 is divided into the five classes a b c d and e and s class occupies some part of the whole address space so occupation of address space like this one so if this is the full circle, 100%, uh, this full circle has divided into uh, five classes. <coughs> and S classes has a specific address space. So class A, 2 to the power 32, 1 address space. That means uh, uh, 2 to the power 32, 1 host can connect. 2 to the power 32, 2 to the power 29, 2 to the power 28, 2 to the power 28. In this way, uh, uh, occupation of address space. This is the occupation of address space. That means how many hosts can connect in a, uh, a class. Okay. So how can we, uh, 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 basically the researcher has introduced some uh, issue to find out the class of address. Which one class A, which one class B, which would be class D or E. So in binary notation, basically we know the octet one, octet two, octet three, and Octet four. So if since class A, uh, a IP address is 32 bit, so clean class A, first by leftmost first bit must be zero. This is called class A. Then class B, first, uh, first bit one, second bit zero would fixed. Second class C, one one zero, class D, uh, triple one zero, class C, uh, four, four, uh, four bit will be one. This is the finding the class of address. We, uh, we need to remember it. Okay, so this is the for the binary notation. On the other hand, uh, for decimal notation, we need to remember this range. So class A, 
0 to 127. How this 0 to 127? Because if class G A 0 is fixed, then other seven bytes beat, we can come, uh, we can create different kinds of combination. Okay, so in that case, so in that case, zero and maximum would be all zero and uh, sorry, minimum would be all zero, maximum would be zero plus uh, then next seven bit one. So seven bit is one means 120, uh, seven bit is one means 128. Okay, do you understand or not? So total address would, should be zero to 127. That means uh, two to the power seven. Okay, zero to 20, uh, 127 means 128. That means two to the power seven. That means two to the power seven means 128. Total address would be 128. And this is this uh, will be called the block. We will see later. Then class B similar way. If first two bit is fixed, then six bit will be uh, just uh, we can we can combination it. Then the range would be first bit one zero, one zero, and seven bit would be if seven all seven will be zero. Then the meaning will be uh, one twenty eight. Okay. Uh, Orpita one has raised his hand. Any issue? Which one? Uh, no clear for me. Please explain again. Sir, the question was about uh, or operation for or operation. Than... Okay. Uh, sorry, I need to see the. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Or operation. I think Orpita, can you hear me? Orpita. Hearing you. Orp uh, Faisal, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I am Orpita hearing you. Faisal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, question was what was the purpose of our operation? Okay, what is the purpose of our operation? We'll uh, we'll uh, discuss this later because uh, we are uh, we will use this our operation. So in that case, you need to clear. Okay, just I just show how what uh, how the our operation will perform. Uh, basically, for our operation or operation, so first number and second number, we need to take the first number second number which is large. That means two five five is large. Two five five is large. In that case, thirty five is large. But for the third octet, fourteen and one forty. We need to convert the power. Sorry. We need to convert this power. Okay. 128 and 0. So 14 convert to this way and 140 convert to this way. So for our operation, we know about the our operation. So you can see the 011, 101, 111. So in that case, you can see 0, 128. So in that case, uh, here and operation. So uh, so if or operation, then zero one twenty eight we need to take one twenty eight, and also eight eight we need to take eight four four we need to take four two zero we need to take two. In that case, one twenty eight plus eight plus four plus two. So it would be one forty two. Do you understand or not? In that case, result will be one forty two. So do you understand or not? I am not sure. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, how can we find the address? Because we have already. So, uh, for octet, uh, this is the for binary notation. We can we need to see the uh, bit position. I I mean the zero bit one uh, first second bit. Uh, first two bit, first third bit, uh, sorry, first four bit, first four bit. So this is the uh, uh, this is the standard notation of uh, class A, class B, class C in binary notation. So for dotted decimal notation, we need to remember this range. So 0 to 127, if any range 0 to 127, we can call it class A. So this is the basically the dotted decimal notation. And we can also use the uh, algorithm. So start, we can start it. If the first bit is zero, then we can call it uh, A class. If the first bit is one, sorry. If the first bit is one, then uh, 
we uh, first and second bit is zero, then we can call it uh, class B. If the second bit is one and third bit is Uh, third bit it uh, okay third uh, if the second bit is one and third bit is zero we can call it class c if the third bit is one and also the fourth bit is zero called uh, class d and if fourth bit is one then we can call it class c so this is the just uh, basic about how to how can we find the class of address okay or, or also we need to uh, remember it the range <clears throat> so now can you say so this is the range 0 to 127 128 to 191 192 to 223 224 to 231 class d and 240 to 255 so can you now check the which one which class Can you not check which, uh, which is which, which class? And uh, can you write in uh, chat box? A is D, 252. A is, uh, okay, 227. Is it uh, D? Yes, A is D. 227. C is A. Okay, C, A. B, basically the class C. 252 okay d d e okay so now you can see the solution uh you can see the explanation with solution the first byte is 227 that means range 224 to 239 that means this is uh class d 193 this is class c range between 192 to 223 and 414 this is class a definitely 0 to 127 and the first byte is 252 uh, between 240 to 255 so this is class e so this this is uh, for simple issue i think you can just study it and uh, i think you can remember it okay now <clears throat> classful addressing now uh, we need to know the uh, issue uh, basically we have already see the uh, uh, different kinds of class uh, with uh, address so now we need to know the net ID and host ID. That means which one of uh, class C network ID and which one my host ID. So since IP address already we have declared uh, four byte, four byte. So so for class A, network ID should be first eight bit and rest of the by, by bit should be that means twenty four bit should be host ID. For class B, first two bytes should be net ID. Next of the uh, host should be, uh, next of the byte should be host ID. For class C, three bytes should be net ID. And class D, all are multicast address. Class C, all are reserved for future use. Basically, class D and E, we are not, uh, not so much using. Uh, we are basically using A, B, C class initially. And for when, uh, 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 when the classless are uh, addressing, not uh, introduced then class a b c basically used for our uh, internet uh, internet access okay class a b c so this should be uh, you need to remember first byte second byte third byte and uh, fourth byte okay so multicast uh, basically ip address uh, uh, defined uh, unicast multicast and broadcast three kind of ad uh, uh, address so we will discuss in a special class at a uh, uh, special address we will discuss it okay kind so now we are discussing that class b class c class a b c okay okay <clears throat> so in class a b c uh, basically class a since 0 to 127 is called the net id 0 to 127 is called the net id so if a isp provider or if you want to business for internet um, internet business or you if you want to access internet for class a you need to take one block from this class a 
and one from one block, you can give two to the power 24 address. Okay, so in how many two to the power 24 address means uh, one six seven seven two one six address in S block. That means for 120 block and at one six seven seven two one six address in S block. So if you want to give a network access, you need to take a class. If you you are want to use in class A, then just you if you take one block, then you can connect two to the power twenty four at four host. So it's it's a large host, okay. And in that case, millions of host millions uh, millions of class A address are wasted because if I want to use my campus Kolkata Science and Technology University. If I take just one block, in that case, this uh, this uh, large time uh, large number of hosts cannot connect. So this is a problem about the class. For class B, here uh, host ID uh, network ID is just uh, eight bit. So two to the power uh, that means one twenty eight block because uh, zero is fixed. So last seven will be just ten. In that case, two to the power seven means one twenty eight block. Okay, so. For class B, B here net ID is uh, 16 bits. So in that case, two to the power 16, uh, we can use. Uh, so two to the power 16 bit, I think we can use for uh, uh, the uh, net ID. Okay. Uh, sorry, two to the power 14 bit, we can use for net ID because one zero is fixed. First one zero B is fixed for class B. So two to the power twenty four bit we can use for net ID. In that case, one twenty eight to one ninety one point dot two five five will be the network ID, and rest of the sixteen bit will be for host ID. So in that case, if we I take just one block, in that case we can connect two to the power sixteen. I think we uh, sixty five thousand five three six six address in S block. In that case, for if I want to take for PS2 network, in that case, so many address will not uh, are connected. So in that case, many classes B address are wasted. So this is another, uh, uh, this is a problem. Another issue there is, is as that for class C, the first uh, uh, 22 bit will be the block and rest of the two, five, six, uh, rest of the eight bit should be for host address. So in that case, just, uh, one block, uh, here many block, but one block can connect only two to the power eight, that means 256 address in S block. So in that case, if I want to uh, connect PS2 network, we need 2000 address, uh, PS2 all of, all of the students and teachers. So we need near about 2000 address. So in that case, we need to take, I think uh, 10, uh, 10 block. So this is also the another kind of problem. Not so many organization are so small to have a class C block. So all class A, class B, class C has some issue. So for that reason, uh, classless address has introduced. Okay, so this is for classless and uh, classes and with their blocks and net ID and the other uh, host ID. So for, we, uh, we are just discussing about the class A, class B and class C and the net ID and the host ID. <clears throat> uh, okay, and another class D and C basically, uh, class D is just one block of address, D address. It is designed for multicasting as well as uh, we will see it later. Basically, S address in this uh, class is used to define one group of hosts in the internet. And class C, class E, basically address are reserved for future purposes when they have introduced this classes architecture. Okay, so now go to the classical addressing, the defined kinds of labeling. So class D and class C. Uh, the, uh, this is basically the range of address allocated to an organization in classical addressing was a block of address in class A, class B, class or class C. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So is it clear or do you have any question? I think no one have any question. Okay. Now, uh, in classical addressing, basically two types of uh, labeling we are using. Uh, basically, net ID and host ID. Any address has uh, two uh, two parts: network ID and host ID. So we have already know that class A in equal to 
8 plus b n equal to 16 plus c n equal to 24. So n bits 32 minus n bits is host ID. So if class A has net ID 8 bits, in that case host, host ID will be uh, 24 bits. Class C net ID 16 bit, host ID will be uh, uh, 16 bit. And class C uh, net ID will be 24 bit and host ID will be the 8 bit. Okay, basically the whole purpose of IP version 4 addressing is to define a destination for internet packet at the network layer. Basic issue is that when class pool addressing was designed, it was assumed that the whole internet is divided into many networks and S networks connects many hosts. This is the main objective of a computer network. In other words, uh, the internet was seen as a network network. So we know about the internet definition, it is called network of networks. So a network was normally created an organization that wanted to connect it to the internet. So the internet authorities allocated a block of address to the organization in class A, class B, or class C when in initial stage during the classes architecture. Sorry. So net ID, the first address, this uh, uh, first address should be uh, uh, named as a net uh, net ID, and rest of the ID should and and last address should be the this one. All should be the uh, one and first address all should be the zero. This is the just some basic. A number of address should be n equal to two to the power thirty two minus one. So how many address in a address is address block? So number of ad, this is called the ad, number of address. So it should be the uh, follow the equation n equal to two to the power thirty two minus one. If uh, n equal to eight, then total address should be. 2 to the power 32 minus 8, that means 2 to the power 20, 20, uh, 24. That means this is the number of address in a block. So uh, you can see a example. Uh, basically, an address in a block, suppose an address in a block is given as 73.22.17.25. It's a which class of address? Can you say anyone? It's a 0 to 20, uh, 127 range, so we can call it class A. Find the number of address in the block, the first address and the last address. Okay, so we, we need to uh, know this, uh, how, can, how can you find the first address of this uh, block, last address of this, of this block, how can you, and total number of address in this block. Okay, so figure, uh, this is the figure basically common in all address. Here, how can you find the net address, we will show you later. Just uh, if we uh, if we ending operation here 73.22.17.25 since 73 is the class A address, so in that case class A subnet mask will be 255.0.0.0. So in that case 255 and 73. If we ending operation, then the we need to uh, take the smaller number. In that case 73.0.0.0 would be the net ID. Okay, we will see it later the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, steps. So figure, this figure shows a possible configuration of the network that uses this block, which block 73.22.17.25. So this is class A address. So total number of address. So since this is a class A address, so uh, here N should be, sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> I want to write so basically. Sorry. 
Sorry. Okay, so I think I can write here. So then this is a class. Okay. Sorry. Uh, so this is a class. So this is a class. So uh, in here. This is a class A. So N should N we know the net ID should be H. Okay. So so the number of address in this block should be N equal to 2 to the power 32 minus N. That means 2 to the power 32 minus 8. That means uh, uh, 16 uh, million 7 uh, 7 7 uh, triple 7 2 and 6. Okay. Total number of address. So to find the first address, we need to keep the left 8 bits and the set rightmost 24 bits all to zero the first address is basically this is the rules for extracting the block uh, so extracting the first address in a block we need to we uh, we need to keep left mode 8 bits just keep the left mode 8 bits this one and right uh, list uh, right bit rightmost 24 bits since this is a class a our network id is 73 so right most all bits should be zero. So in that case, the first address is 73.0.0.0 slash eight, in which eight is the value of n. Okay, do you understand or not? This is the first address of this block. And to find the last address, the another rules we need to follow. Left most eight bits should be kept and set the right most 24 bits should be one. So the last, so if we uh, keep, uh, uh, fix the right most eight bit, uh, set the right most eight 24 bit all are one that means the uh, last address is 73.255.255.254 do you understand or not okay you can uh, uh, comments in chat box do you understand or not this is this is what common in all ip addresses so in that case network address is 73.0.0.8 and 73.255 this is for a special address we will uh, discuss uh, it later uh, this is the network address this is the special address and the uh, uh, host address should be usable host address should be 73.0.0.1 and 73.255.255.254 and total block here the block should be total block should be 73.0.0 and 73.255.255.255 okay do you understand or not so in this way, we can find the number of address in the block, first address and last address, address of the block. Yes, n, n should be n equal to one because class A address. So we know previously. So here you can see that if it is a class A address, 73 is, a, is between 0 to 120, uh, 127. So it is called class A. So in that case, uh, for uh, two level addressing, Class A address mm. n should be fixed. Uh, Sir, I think, okay. uh, uh, I think their clear. issue is. Orpita, are you available? Uh, yes, sir, I am available. Orpita, are you available? I think there is an issue to identify the prefix length and subnet so, mask. Please why explain we what is prefix. It's a special address. So, first address. So, usable address should be uh, 2 to the power 32, uh, sorry, sorry, 2 to the power 24 minus 2, which and I think downside to you. Two address cannot be used in a block. Because when we, why you are not counting from 73.00 is for networking address. Okay, 73.00 for networking. We will we will count it. Okay, no problem. We will we have we are we are counting it. I think you say this is the block. So we we total block address should be 73.00.0, 73.255.255.255, and starting address is 73.00.0. And last address is 73.255.255.255. But usable address, that means client can be used address from 00.0.0.1 to 255.255.255. Other two addresses counting in this block, but user cannot use this address. Do you understand or not? 
So which one? Talukdar Priyatosh. Which one? Not clear. Actually, uh, Nafisa, we are counting basically. Uh, this is the block block. Uh, yes, it's okay. Two to the power thirty two minus one. M. We keep this address for networking and broadcast broadcasting purpose. Basically, uh, two address for uh, first address is for networking address. And last address for broadcasting purpose or special purpose address. Yes, Kazi Marufa, uh, Marufa. Yes. Okay. Do you understand or not? Is it clear? So there is some question. Do you have any other? I think Kazi Marufa. We keep this those two address for networking and broadcasting purpose. Yes. Okay. I think we can we 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 can go next slide. Okay, so classful addressing sample basically. Uh, this is a sample net sample internet uh, internet. Uh, two to the power uh, uh, the calculation equation. Yes, two to uh, n should be two to the power thirty two minus n. Small n. Number of address should be n equal to two to the power thirty two minus n. This is the equation. Okay, so uh, n equal to two to the power thirty two minus n. I think someone. Uh... Sir, there is some questions. Okay. Sir, so can you hear me? Okay. Uh, basically, classful addressing. This is the sample internet here. Uh, this is line one. This is line two, and this is the one connection. This is the sample network. So, uh, so far we have uh, uh, we have studied. That uh, in this class, uh, in the classful addressing, this is a uh, LAN, LAN network. Here we have uh, here uh, we have used point two twenty two, uh, three dot six dot zero for slash twenty four notation. So here network ad network address is two two zero three dot six dot zero twenty four, and this network is one three four one eight one eight dot zero dot zero sixteen. And uh, this is uh, the um, uh, this is another network. And this is the switched one, and uh, connected through ATM or other network. And they are, they are have used three router R1, R2, or R3. This is the rest of the internet. So you can see this is this switched one network address is two zero zero seventy eight six dot zero. So first address should be the network address, and last address should be used for broadcast address or special purpose address. Okay, and rest of the address you can use for your host or uh, uh, host computer or networking. A router or any other issue. So this is the last a simple uh, internet. So how can you connect our internet uh, through the IP address? <clears throat> okay, sample internet. Basically, a LAN have the network address. This is class C address. Uh, two 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 zero three dot C class C class B. Uh, this one class B. A uh, one switch we are using the class C. Uh, the, um, and one router connect the one to the left LAN and one connects to the right LAN. And connect to the one to the rest of the internet. Basically, this example show that given any address, we can find all information about the block. Okay, so any any from the any address, we can find out the which network this PC is connected. Do you understand or not? So we we will try to, uh, in class class addressing. We will uh, learn about the details. How can you extract a uh, block? Or how can we extract uh, uh, block information by using one IP address? So the first address, basically here, first address is the network address, is particularly important because it is used in a routing. In, in it is used in routing in a packet to its destination network. Okay, in destination of for the moment, let us assume that an internet is made of M network, 
and router with m interface when a packet arrives at uh, any at the router from any source host the router needs to know which network the packet should be sent so it must be known the router should know that's why in our campus network design we have configured two distribution router and the core router they are routing table that that means the uh, gigabyte ethernet zero and the gigabyte ethernet one how they communicate as other and we have configured the border gateway protocol how they transfer the packet from uh, router to router or uh, from one router to another and an, uh, another to one router basically vice versa how can you connect so so when a packet uh, uh, when a packet uh, basically when a packet arrives at the router from any source host the router needs to know to which network the packet should be sent the router needs to know from which interface the packet should be sent out. That's why we have configured the network interface with the IP address. And in this way, we can create the routing table there for a router. When the packet arrives at the network, it resets its destination host using another strategy that we discuss later. Basically, after the network address has been found, basically basic task is when this PC has uh, access to this PC, so basic target is the which router is it is connected, which network it is connected. Basically, this router, this PC is connected to this router. So this is the basically uh, networking, find out the networking address and send this router. Okay, after that, this router sent to this router and this router, finally, the uh, this host can be accessed by using different kinds of routing mechanism and the different kinds of routing table. So, after the network address has been found by using the ending operation of uh, host address and the network address, uh, sorry, host address and the subnet mask, we uh, router can find out the network address. Okay, so after the network address has found, the router consults its routing table to find out, to find the corresponding interface from which the packet should be sent out. So in that case, you can see, the network is the identifier of a network. So network one, two, network two, network M. This um, uh, M, M type, uh, M uh, number, M number of uh, interface has this router and routing process. This is, and we have configured this uh, routing table with uh, network address and corresponding interface. And interface number, we have assigned gigabyte interface or ethernet interface like this. Or you can see it, uh, this is basically uh, a, a network this a router uh, gigabyte in, uh, ether, uh, this is the one single router connected with two uh, local area network and this local area network has using this network 192.168.1.0/24 and here the uh, pc1 ip address should be dot one dot two and 254 is the this router interface and on the other hand uh, this this is another network uh, 192.168.2.0 and pc pc3 the ip address one dot two dot one and two dot two and the router interface this one two dot fifty four so when a packet from arrives from this router so uh, by uh, by uh, this uh, gigabyte inter interface and gigabyte this in routing table no uh, the router know the, the uh, what the destination package and which interface would be used for to access the pc3 so this is the so for this reason uh, network address need to identify so uh, the, uh, so so how can you identify the network address so for identify the network address we need to know about the network mask okay or we can call it subnet mask or default mask okay so uh, basically a network mask or default mask uh, uh, in classical addressing is a 32 bit number with n left most bit all set to ones and right sub uh, right 32 minus n right most bit all set to zero so this is for class a default mask that means uh, 255.0.0.0 so this should be the mask for class a and this should be the mask for class b because uh, n should be 8 bit and so 255.255.0.0 this should be the mask for class b and this should be the class C, 255.255.255.0. So we will convert it next when we are using classless addressing. We will see it by using the slash n notation. So basically, 
uh, subnet mask. So, so this is called a subnet mask. Uh, and it is called a subnet mask because it is used to identify the network address of an IP address by performing bitwise AND operation on the net mask. I, I think we have already discussed about how the AND operation uh, performed. So for uh, so AND operation, will, we will use this uh, identify to identify the network address by using uh, net uh, host address and also the subnet mask of this class. And subnet mask is a 32 bit number address and divide the IP address into network address and host address. Basic task is of the subnet mask is to uh, divide the IP address into network address and which portion is host address uh, to uh, uh, divide. This is the main responsibility of a network mask. Okay, I think I need to take some question. Okay, I think Orpita already, Orpita ma'am already answered the, uh, answered the question. So class A, class B and class C. This is the basic uh, default subnet mask of a class full addressing. So, uh, so you can see that a router, uh, one, one problem that uh, a router receives a packet with the destination address at uh, 201.4024.67.32. Because if uh, when a source address uh, want to access another PC, so when a source PC accept, uh, send a packet with a IP version 4 header, uh, header will contain both source address and destination address. So, it, so suppose a router, this router receives a packet with the destination address 201.24.67.32. So show how the router finds the network address of the packet. So this is the problem. I think I have already discussed previously how to find out the network address by uh, we can identify the network address by using the AND operation. So 201.24.67.32. Since we are uh, now discussing, also discussing the class pool addressing and 201 is in class C address, right? Sorry, so 201 is now, uh, Mm, sorry, in, uh, there is a, some mistake. Uh, sorry, uh, 201 is class C address. So default mask for class C 255, 255.255.255.00 uh, to find the network mask. So if destination address is, uh, router destination address is 201.24.67.32 and default mask is 255.255, sorry, 255. Sorry, uh, 255. In that case, by using the AND operation, what will be the uh, uh, network address? Okay, what will be the network address? So, so in that case, so if we are uh, using the uh, default mask, uh, 201 and 255, in that case, uh, the uh, which is a smaller number, 201 is the smaller number. So, 255, 244. So which is the smaller number? 2424 is the smaller number. And 255255 65, 67, which is the smaller number? 67, basically 67 is the smaller number and dot zero. So in that case, 201.24.67.0. This is the network address. Do you understand? Is it clear how to find out the, uh, the, the router? How can find out the network address of this packet? Is it clear? What is any question about the, this one? I think, uh, Shush, uh, okay, Shushpita, one question, why use the end operation? Basically, uh, for IP version, uh, for, uh, uh, for find out the network address, we need to use the end operation, not NOR operation, NOR or NOT. We cannot use by NOR operation, you could not find out the end operation. Okay, so for AND operation, another, uh, sorry, on OR operation, uh, for uh, find out the last address, we, we need to use this OR operation. We will uh, see uh, next slide. So this is the uh, rules to find out the uh, network address of a 
uh, uh, from the destination address. Uh, so router can find out the network address of, from a uh, destination address. So, so, so far we have using uh, lab, uh, two level of addressing, net ID and the stored host ID. But uh, uh, now uh, we need to discuss about the le uh, three level addressing, basically the subnetting. Okay, so previously we have already discussed this type of network, a large network where uh, 141.14.00/16 is the network ID and rest of the 2 to the power 16 is the host ID. So, so many hosts are near about 65,536 uh, hosts. So, it's difficult to maintain and it's difficult to um, maintain all users. So, in that case, uh, what are the solutions? So, basic solution is to use the Basically, uh, uh, in that case, there are two type of uh, address, uh, two type of uh, address. Basically, host ID and net ID. So, if we want to solve this problem, uh, so we manage this uh, large network. We need to divide the network in subnet. That's the, uh, basically this is called subnet. The idea of splitting a block to a smaller block is referred to as basically subnet or network address. So. Uh, in subnetting, basically a network is divided into several, several smaller network subnetwork or subnets with a subnet having its own subnetwork address. So this is the, so we want to, this is a, uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this is a large network, but we need to a network address using class B address before subnetting. So this is the sample class B, uh, class B block a network where the block is a network, a network address, a block is 141.14. A zero dot zero dot slash sixteen. So this is a large network near about uh, two to the power sixteen um, as host. But we need to, we want to divide this network for our uh, management issue or different kinds of issue. We want to some some uh, uh, split it. Uh, so for classful addressing, you can show that uh, you can see sorry you can see that the here network is same basically the. Uh, uh, 141. Uh, sorry, 0. Sarah, 0. I am interrupting you. But we have used another uh, another router. So, uh, you have already uh, when we have uh, designed a, uh, a campus Hello. network, we are using uh, two router. One is core router, another is distribution router. For core router, I think the Orpita and the first class we are, you have already uh, uh, see that the core router and distribution are separate type of ports. So you can also see that. Uh, here internet router this is called the core router you can receive the bandwidth by using this router after that you can distribute this uh, uh, ip block into four sub networks so this is the subnet one uh, sub network one you can see that 141.14.0.0/18 so how you can uh, raise a question that uh, here is starting ip address is slash 16 but here uh, sub sub network Subnetwork IP basically 141.14.00 slash 18. How 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 we can make it? So we'll discuss it later. Uh, and another issue that subnet two. This is another another block, and also subnet three and also the subnet four. So these four subnet we have divided our simple one network to different kinds of network. How can you uh, divided this network one network to four divided network? Okay. So we need to uh, explore this uh, splitting or sub-networking. Okay. So, so for class classful addressing subnetting, uh, uh, <clears throat> the network mask is used when a network is subnetted. If we want to divide the networks, we need to know about the network mask. Okay. We need to know the network mask. Basically, the network mask is used when a network is not, sorry, the network mask is used when the network is not subnetted or third network. We have used this previously, but when we want to divide a network to several networks, we need to create a subnetwork mask or subnet mask. This is called the subnet mask, mask for a subnetwork. Previously, when we are using the campus network, we are using different kinds of subnet uh, mask. I think. Uh,
I think the packet tracer. Sorry. I think I IP address. Oh, okay. Hello, Samsung Zaman sir. Do you hear me? So you can see that the here uh, host IP address. This is the basic IP address. And this is the subnet mask. How can you get the subnet mask? Here, somehow, someone used the 255.255.0, uh, and someone used 255.255.24 inch, and someone used uh, uh, another another type of uh, I, that means the uh, another type of uh, subnet mask. Why? So, in that case, hello, you need to hello, sir. Do you hear me? Uh, understand that subnet work has two type of ID subnet id and host id basically initially we have in Hello. our network we have used the network mask net id and subnet uh, host id so where the n n bit should be the net id so class a class b class c we are uh, have already know the n should be 816 uh, 816 and 32 sorry it's, uh, 24 hmm. Mm, sorry. I have Faisal. Yes. Okay. Hello, sir. Uh, do you hear me? Okay, quite open. I'm at the 520, already 520. So when the form will be open? So I have access. I can uh, uh, configure the assessment. I think. Is it possible to email me? Okay. So, so need to. <coughs> uh, sorry. Actually, the control. Uh, one control mem panel member has uh, electricity problem. That's why I cannot send the link. Uh, so I think he has already seen the link. So the link will be open at 5.20. I, I, I think we will increase the uh, time. Uh, the link, link time we will increase. Uh, so we can continue the lecture at uh, 5.30. Then you can uh, submit the, after the, you can start the submission. Okay, subnet mask is not clear, so it's still not uh, uh, completed. So you can see that uh, I will finish within 5.30, uh, then you can start the exam. We will increase the submission time. Okay, uh, actually subnet network has subnet ID and host ID. So what do you mean, uh, so net mask? So initially, uh, previously we have already know that class A, class B, class C has N bits net ID, and that's net mask to uh, 255.0, 0, 0, 0, 0, class A, class B, class C. We know about the default network mask or subnet mask. That is called the default network mask or subnet mask. But if we want to convert, uh, divided the uh, network to subnetwork, in that case, we need to use a equation to divide, uh, uh, to, to get the new subnetwork mask. What, what, what's the equation? Actually, for subnetwork mask, subnet ID and host ID. How can we get, uh, get this sub? Uh, uh, that means we need to change some host ID to, uh, uh, we need to add some host ID with net ID. And we will get the new uh, subnet ID, which is called subnetwork mask. Okay, actually, uh, when you, uh, Okay. So in that case, we need to use the equation n subnet equal to n plus log to s. Actually, in which n is the basically the length of the ID. n is the length of the net ID. Sorry, n is the length of the net ID. And n sub basically is the s subnet ID. Which is the subnet ID and subnet or subnet subnetwork mask? We will get from this equation. Okay, so n sub is sub is the length of the subnet ID, and s is the number of subnet which must be power of two. 
so if we have we want to if we want to divide the previous network to four networks so you you need to, uh, you, know, you must remember that you can divide any network to how many numbers of networks it must be power of 2 so we can divide the network into 2 4 8 16 in this way okay you need to remember it so so n plus log 2s that means log s is the number of subnet which must be power of 2 so in this case uh, for this case you can see this previous example we have divided the class b network into four subnetworks the value of n n is 16 basically this one class b so n should be n must be 16 this is uh, uh, n is 16 is a fixed for default mask based on the default mask okay so n1 equal to n2 equal to n3 equal to n4 equal to all subnet mass should be n plus n means the 16 plus log to how many networks here four networks here. so in that case total would be 80. so in that case the slash notation that means 141.14.0.0. slash 18 would be the subnet mask do you understand or not that's why we have right uh, here uh, the network have right the slash 18 initially we have 16 but after using the subnet four subnetwork their network mask uh, sub uh, subnetwork mask is slash 8, 18 that means 255.255.110660 okay 255 that means we can write it we can write it 255 255 dot uh sorry that means uh six eight bit plus 16 bit plus 18 bit that means one one zero 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 three five six seven seven eight okay so in that case that means Six, uh, eight bit plus eight bit plus two bit. This should part should be the network mass. Okay, so in that case, one twenty eight plus sixty four. So how much? One twenty eight. Uh, that means uh, twelve. One ninety two. That means here this should be one nine two dot zero. Okay, so this should be the subnet mask. So if you want to configure the uh, network IB into uh, four divided networks, then this should be the subnet mask. Is it understand? Do you understand or not? So the subnet mask is 255.255.192.0, which is different from the network mask for class B. If any IP address here 141.14.0.1 is uh, if we ending operation with this sub uh, 255.255. Uh, 192.0 if we want to ending operation then we can easily find the network mask uh, network I, I address so you can see it in previous example we show that a network is divided into four subnet since one of the address in subnet 2 is 141.14.120.77 you can see that the uh, subnet from this network uh, 141.14.64.1 so uh, 64.0 from this network, one address is uh, 141.14.120.77. How can we find the subnetwork address? Okay, sub subnetwork address. How can we find the subnetwork address? Here you can see that address is at this one. Mask is what uh, 255.252.192.0. Uh, we have calculated previously, but after using the ending operation on shortcut method, we can take it the smaller one 141 we can take a smart one and we can convert this uh, 122 and 192 to powers of two we can convert it and ending operation so 64 and only 64 is uh, common so we can take it 141.14.64.0 uh, for as a sub network address the value of the first second and fourth bytes are calculated using the first shortcut for end operation 
the value of the third byte is calculated using the second shortcut for the end operation. We have already discussed it. In this way, we can calculate the first subnet, uh, that means the sub, sub network address of this network by using the masking address. Because um, for, where, where, can, where we get the mask? Because slash 18. From the slash 18 means 255.255.192.0. This is the mask address or subnet mask address. So, uh, so I think the already uh, 5.28. So, do you have any question, Orpita? 1.92 come. Okay. I think they have uh, our panel member already sent you the link. Uh, what is S? Actually, S is the number of subnet. Now, now Shintabasum, S is the number of subnet. Since previous network, we have divided the one network to four networks. So, S is the four. So is it so there is a question that and how hello? does come the 192 so 192 basically come you can see that since 181 so you can convert it 255.255 dot because 8255 8 bit first 8 bit second 8 bit one then 2 bit one that means 8 it's 16 plus 2 1 that means we can convert total 18. So if we, if you convert this binary to the decimal, then you can get the 192. I think hope, uh, I think it's uh, clear now. Uh, so I think we can conclude today's seminar. So if you have any, any other question, I will answer in question answer box. So or you, you can uh, send uh, email to take girl at csc.ps.bd, we will answer the question uh, today or next uh, tomorrow the initially we will i will discuss the uh, uh, question uh, if you have any other question i think oh, your orpita madam had already discussed uh, many uh, already replied the many question so i think we can conclude this session today so if you have any other question uh, you can uh, email us and now you can start the uh, uh, evaluation I think the sub assessment. Uh, so you can click the sub uh, assessment link, and it will be ending uh, now 5:30. It will be ending the 5:50. Uh, Faisal, can you hear me? Faisal. Sir, Faisal is not connected. Orpita, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can, but uh, maybe you can't hear me. Orpita, can you hear me? Okay, I think you can start the uh, exam. And if you have any, any question, you can uh, note, uh, note down in the question answer box. I will answer one by one. Okay, I cannot hear you. So I cannot hear you, Orpita. I think your microphone has any problem or not? Not sure. Nothing here. Uh, hello. Sir, we already. I am not muting. I think. He, Okay, but why you cannot hear me? Uh, okay, uh, for this session, we will do, uh, we were, want to thanks to Dr. Samsud Jaman Shobhus sir. Thank you for your valuable speech and it was really fruitful. Mm -hmm. And I hope some of you get your answers of your questions. And if you have any problem or any question, you can ask through the uh, email address or your WhatsApp group. Uh, and uh, hope you will uh, uh, participate to this uh, okay, assignment. I'm just leaving and again join.